Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this session, we are going to solve a problem about deformation This is the question Two solid cylindrical roads are joined at point B and loaded as shown in the figure Road AB is made of steel with modulus of elasticity of 200 gigapascal and road BC is made of brass with modulus of elasticity of 105 gigapascal Determine the total deformation of the composite road ABC and then the deflection of point B So here we have a few information given in the question First we have EAB equals to 200 gigapascal and then we have EBC equals to 105 gigapascal and also we have LAB 250 millimeters and then we have LBC is 300 millimeters here also we have external load at point A is 30 kN and the external load acting at point B is 40 kN ok to solve the total deformation so total deformation is delta T so delta T equals to delta AB plus delta BC and then we know that delta AB equals to PL over AE for section AB and then delta BC equals to PL over AE for section BC since we already have the value of length and modulus of elasticity for both sections and also we have diameter of both sections so here we can find the value of cross section area of AB equals to pi DAB square over 4 so we substitute the value so pi 0 0.03 square over 4 equals to 7.07 .07 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meter square and ABC equals to pi dbc square over 4 equals to we substitute the value pi times 0 0.05 square over 4 equals to 1.96 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meter square Next, to find the value of internal force in section AB and section BC, we have to draw free body diagram. So, how to draw free body diagram? We have to start from the end of road. So, we have to start from section AB. So, we draw a free body diagram of section AB we put the external load at point A is 30 kN and then we put the internal load at the cutting point as PAB the internal load we always assume in tension so we apply static equilibrium equation summation of Fy equal to 0 output direction is positive so negative 30 kN minus PAB 
this is equal to zero and p a b equals to negative 30 kilonewton so the negative sign of p a b represent p a b is in compression next for section b c we draw a free body diagram at section bc so we put the external load at point a is 30 kilonewton and then the external load at point b is 40 kilonewton and then we put the internal load at the cutting point as pbc so pbc we assume in tension and then we apply static equilibrium equation summation of fy equal to zero upward direction is positive so negative 30 kilonewton minus 40 kilonewton minus pbc equals to zero and pbc equals to negative 70 kilonewton so the negative sign of PBC represent that PBC is in compression. Next, we can calculate the delta AB. So delta AB equals to PL over AE of section AB. We substitute the values so negative 30 kilonewton times 0 0.25 over the area is 7.07 .07 times 10 to the power of negative 4 and E equals to 200 gigapascal and then we get the value of delta AB is negative 5.3 times 10 to the power of negative 5 meter next we calculate the delta BC equals to PL over AE for section BC we substitute the value P equals to negative 70 kilonewton times 0 0.3 over the area is 1.96 times 10 to the power of negative 3 and E equals to 105 gigapascal and the value of delta BC equals to negative 1.02 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meters and then we calculate the total deformation of root ABC so delta T equals to delta AB plus delta BC so this is equals to negative 5.3 times 10 to the power of negative 5 plus negative 1.02 times 10 to the power of negative 3 so we get the value of delta t equals to negative 1.073 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meters so this is also equals to negative 0 0.1073 millimeters next the second question is the deformation at point b so the formation at point B so the formation at point B is the delta BC so delta BC equals to PL over AE at point BC since we already calculate the delta BC we get the value of delta BC equals to negative 1.02 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meter or oh, this is equals to negative 0 0.102 millimeters that's all for this session thank you